Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be doing a simple little synthesis of a compound I read about on atomistry called nickel cobaltous cyanide. It is basically the nickel salt of the cobalt analog of potassium ferrocyanide. Um, there we are going to start first well the way we're actually going to do it is we are going to take a stoichiometric amount of cobalt chloride that I've got dissolved here and we're going to combine it with this solution of potassium cyanide that I've got here this is the last of my potassium cyanide so I hope this turns out nice and um, that will create potassium cobaltocyanide, um, analog of ferrocyanide, and then just by boiling it or by warming the solution in air, it will oxidize it to cobaltocyanide. Um, so, and then I'm going to add this solution of nickel um, chloride to it at the end to hopefully precipitate out um, nickel cobalt cyanide because it's supposed to be a bright blue compound according to atomistry and a bright blue nickel compound just sounds neat I thought that would be fun so anyway um, I am going to begin things though by um, showing you guys what cobalt cyanide or cobalt is cyanide cobalt 2 cyanide um, or cobalt dicyanide, however you'd like to name it, looks like. And we're just going to have a little bit of the potassium cyanide in here, if my piece of shit camera would focus. And I'm just going to add a little bit of, zoom in here so you guys can see it a little better. I'm going to add a little bit of the cobalt chloride to it, and this should precipitate out cobalt 2 cyanide, so we can see what it looks like. Okay, I guess it looks like that. Hmm, interesting. Well, maybe it's forming some weird salt because the proportions aren't quite right. Um, I, and I, I don't know. I it, the way it read it, it was supposed to be a red compound. Never mind. We will soldier on and see what we get. Green is that's interesting. All right. It almost looks like it re-dissolved again. I'm not sure. Well, that's okay. We have our beaker over here where we're going to combine everything. First, the potassium cyanide. Rinse this out with a little bit of DI water. Oh, I really hope this works, man. I don't have any more cyanide to try again. Really gonna have to figure out a way to fix that problem. All right. Well, here goes nothing, people. This should be a stoichiometric amount, which means that it should redissolve to give us cobalto cyanide in solution. I said I worked out the stoichiometry so it would be exact. And, voila, I think it actually worked. Okay, maybe it is supposed to be kind of green. Maybe that's just, we're just, it's just complexing right away. Well, uh, whatever. Um, we would probably have to add the cobalt into excess cyanide to have seen it. I'm not worried about it. That's fine. Um, at any rate... This is potassium cobaltocyanide in aqueous solution. It's nice. It's kind of greenish. A little bit greenish yellow, I guess. That's cool. All right. Well, now we just have to heat it up and let it stir. Not sure for how long. Um, let's see. I'll cover that up somehow, some way, so that leaves don't fall into it. But we will let it do its thing, and I will come back when there is something to report.
um, it didn't take very long at all. I just heated it and stirred it for about 30 minutes and that appears to have converted it into potassium cobalt cyanide. That's pretty damn cool. Um, that is a really bright yellow. Well, at least I hope it has. It appears to have. Um, fingers crossed we have our potassium or um, nickel chloride solution that I filtered and cleaned up a little bit and it is precisely measured to be stoichiometric here so here goes nothing well I'll be damned it's kind of a greenish blue but it is a bright blue exactly like Adam Astri said hot fucking damn it worked hell yes Hell fucking yeah! Oh, that is great! I hate the color. That is one of the most hideous colors I have ever seen in my life. I don't fucking care. It fucking worked! Oh, that is cool! Even if it's hideously ugly. Oh, that is that god-awful, what I call 50s green. Like that 1950s sea foam green blue abomination like institutional blue <laughs> but you know what again I don't fucking care it fucking worked that's exactly as promised it is a bright blue compound woo fuck yeah it fucking worked that is great that is so fucking awesome I don't care if it's ugly it's fucking beautiful wouldn't paint my house that color, or own an appliance that color, God. But, God damn, that's fucking awesome. Oh, that is awesome. That is so great. It actually worked. It actually worked. Oh, I'm going to be on cloud nine about this forever. I can't believe it worked. A fitting use to the last of my potassium cyanide. Because we just discovered, like potassium cobalt cyanide that's like a whole other ferrous cyanide ferrous cyanide rather type compound that up until now I was completely in the dark about you know I might sound like an idiot saying that but I haven't seen it demonstrated or played with anywhere else so you know correct me if I'm wrong I mean, I'm not saying that I'm the only one to do it uh, I'm just saying I hadn't seen it anywhere else so I thought it was exceptionally fucking awesome so if you like that video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it well whatever subscribe comment share the video and until the next one y'all I will see you later that is so cool god that color is hideous Jesus